Hi, this is Jennifer. I'm going to take you on a quick tour of Insider for Office. Recently I was at Interop and I met with the MediGeek team at their booth at the Interop show floor and they were kind enough to provide me with a copy of Insider for Office along with the YSpy Mini, their new form factor for their YSpy tool set. Insider for Office is an advanced version of Insider that is capable of showing additional information about your wireless infrastructure. It can tell you whether or not you have poor placement of your access points or if there's low signal strength or if there's a lot of co-channel interference or networks that are stomping on your network so that you can tell why it might be that your wireless network is not working so great in your office. This is the main page of the Insider for Office tool. You can see that there's a nice home page with information about how you use the product and there's also a built-in user guide which provides lots of additional information on how to use the product including screenshots and helpful information to help you understand what it is that you're looking at on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and jump into my networks and show you what networks are being detected by the Insider for Office when I'm running it from my home. As we can see here we have a pretty big list of SSIDs that are detected and we can sort by signal strength we can sort by the channel that's in use, we can sort by the type of security, we can also filter from the top down, we can choose these little filter options and select which security mechanisms we want to view or what type of phi, or the physical layer, whether it be A, B, G or N capable access points that we want to view. We can also start to type in some information about the vendor or the SSID, say if I just wanted to look at just the controller SSID, I can narrow my view just down to that and I can look at the MAC addresses of the access points and see what their capabilities are as well as what channels they're operating on. We can clear a filter just as simply as clicking the X next to the filter that was shown up on the top of the screen. You can see which SSID I'm connected to by this little icon here. Um, if you wanted additional information about that network, we would click on it and we can see a little mini view here on the right hand side about that SSID. We can see that there's co-channel interference being detected by three neighboring networks but no networks are overlapping. We can also see that the signal strength is shown as NEG57 dBm and the maximum transmission rate is 144 megs. We can also see down here in the bottom that the SSID is being highlighted as part of the network shown below and if we wanted additional information on it we would select the star to show that signal strength for that SSID in the chart shown here. We can also go over into the analyze field and we can see some observed issues with our SSID and we get a link score which tells us um, some information based upon the signals noise ratio and noise floor and the RSSI being detected what your link score is. Apparently we have strong co-channel networks. If I click on learn more it expands and it says that channel one has more or one or more networks with strong RSSI that are affecting my SSID. I also have a weak connection so my connection to the access point is lower than optimal so it says that um, I may get uh, associated at lower data rates and my speeds uh, may be reduced as a result of my weak connection. Now that I'm back over in the networks tab you can see that there are keyboard shortcuts that are also available to me to use if I wanted to um, avoid using the mouse or if I was using a laptop where I didn't like the touchpad or the uh, power button. So um, there's lots of nice shortcuts that we can use uh, with keystrokes um, there's information that we can gather just by clicking on networks whether or not we're associated to them or not. You can see as we click each individual SSID in the list we select that network its accompanying network is also highlighted in the 2.4 gigahertz network below. If I choose one of the 802.11a networks and select it we can see its accompanying network is highlighted on the 5 gigahertz network side. We can get additional channel information. Um, we can see how much overlapping signal is being detected. We can see what networks are overlapping on this given channel. So this can be very useful information if you're in an office and you're not sure what networks are around you or what channels that they're using. This is a really quick and easy way to get a good uh, in-depth view of your neighboring networks. 
as well as how they're affecting you and what you can do to avoid it. Back under the Learn tab, there's also lots of helpful links to additional tools. Under additional tools, we can see that uh, MediGeek has embedded links to other tools that they offer uh, for finding Wi-Fi interference or reducing Wi-Fi saturation. And if we click on the link to learn more about the Find Wi-Fi Interference, we can see that it brings up a web page with a link to taking your insider to the next level with the Y-Spy and Channelizer to look at the actual spectrum analysis function of the wireless network um, so that you can see what underlying causes you might uh, be exposed to because of sources of interference that could be wireless security cameras. Um, so this is a really good link to um, taking a deeper look into your wireless network outside of just the insider for office. They also have a link to reducing your Wi-Fi saturation, which is a way to look at your wireless infrastructure and identify uh, slow talkers or measure how many retransmits are being uh, generated on your wireless network. And this is a link to their application called IPA, which is a, a tool that you can use to visualize packet captures of a wireless network and determine why your connections might be slow. And you can see that there's a link to a little training module um, about the IPA tool and how you use it and how you could measure Wi-Fi saturation as well as lots of other information about uh, analyzing a wireless packet capture to determine why you could be experiencing slowdown that's not necessarily a cause of uh, interference. On the lessons page, there's lots of additional deep dives to learn about dead spots and slow zones or why you would use channels 1, 6, and 11, as well as a lesson on adjacent and co-channel congestion so that you can understand what happens when you have access points that are overlapping on the same channel and how to avoid wireless issues related to that. There's also a lesson on the different types of wireless security so that you can get um, a little tutorial about what type of wireless security you should use or should not use and why. There's also a little lesson tutorial about designing 5 GHz Wi-Fi networks to understand why it might be beneficial to you to plan to use a 5 GHz channel plan instead of the 2.4 that you could be currently using. Under the Webinars tab, they have a link to a webinar where they explain how to diagnose Wi-Fi interference, where you can learn the basics of spectrum analysis and understand what type of devices could cause problems with your wireless networks. They also have a link to a webinar for their IPA application, which um, helps you view wireless packet captures and understand what percentage of your wireless traffic are data frames or management frames or control frames. And they also have a webinar about Wi-Fi security so that you can understand the different types of wireless securities that you could choose from and which ones would probably be the best for your specific environment given the options for authentication that you would have access to. They also have a link to a webinar for design considerations for dual band Wi-Fi. So if you're planning on deploying a 2.4 and a 5 gigahertz wireless infrastructure, you can understand how best to evaluate your wireless requirements and determine the best method um, to deploy a dual band wireless network in your environment. So all in all, I think this would be a wonderful application for somebody to use if they were in charge of running a small office with one or two or three access points, especially if you were in a shared office space and you had lots of neighboring wireless networks to work around. Um, because without something like this tool, it would be very difficult for you to understand why you were having issues with your wireless network if all of a sudden it just got slower or you started having more issues than you had before but you didn't really understand why. Um, you would definitely need a tool like this in order to understand what's going on in your RF airspace of the building that you work in if, you, um, if you're not really in an enterprise deployment where you would have somebody that would be watching your wireless infrastructure and monitoring it and alerting you if something uh, was going to change or if you were having issues. Um, so this would be a great tool to use to self-identify issues and make the necessary adjustments and then look at the wireless networks again and make sure that uh, you had taken care of the issues that were identified through the analysis of the wireless network that you actually are, are using or running in your office.